I tell you what, it is exciting right now watching Manchester United. If you imagine what we felt like last preseason, losing to Liverpool, Jose Mourinho, a dour, sour impression on his face the whole preseason. And look at what we've got now. Beating Perth Glory, beating Leeds, beating Inter Milan, the football that we're playing. There is a real positive vibe going through this United team from the performances to the individual performances, such as Aaron Wan-Bissaka, who is clearly the best right back ever to play football. Maybe hyping him up a little bit. I am hyping him up there. But Christ, he was sensational in that game. Wan-Bissaka, I think for United fans, it's a bit of two things. First of all is that we haven't had a proper right back for so long that seeing Wan-Bissaka coming in and doing what a proper right back should do that gap between having nothing to having somebody so good makes it even more exaggerated what you're watching. But he's mustered going forward and in defence. And so much was said about how Wan-Bissaka is defensively, was defensively the best Premier League right back last season. But going forward, he was poor. I've seen a player in the first few games so far in his pre-season who is more than comfortable going forward, more than comfortable to add to the attack. And he can absolutely cover in defence as well. That bit where he lost the ball on the halfway line and sprinted back and put in a wonderful slide tackle, probably the moment of the game for him and the moment of the pre-season so far for him. What a signing he looks like he's going to be. For United, that, this whole right-hand side has been revamped. wan Saka's there. We've got Dan James there who, you know... That was probably a poor finish, that he had that opportunity that went through. But Dan James is a young, raw kid who at some times looks like a deer in headlights because he's playing for United. He's got Paul Popper behind him. It's a big change for him. And I think he'll take a little bit longer to adapt. But wan straight away looks like he's going to transform this right-hand side. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen next year. But all over that pitch today, positivity everywhere. Good to see Twan Zebe getting a start there alongside Victor Lindelof. And if we don't sign Harry Maguire, that's the back five I'd like to see start against Chelsea. Luke Shaw, Lindelof, Twan Zebe, wan on the right-hand side and De Gea in goal. That's a strong back five and a massive shift from where we were last year with Smalling and Ashley Young in there. And then in midfield today, again, you saw the best of Paul Pogba. That bit where he dribbled past three players, I thought he was going to lose it three or four times and somehow he got a great shot away as well. When Pogba is on form and wants to play, I don't think there's a central midfielder in the world that can compete with him. He's up there with the absolute best. And I personally think he's going to be here next year. And if he is, I think he's going to do a lot of good things in this team because we just look so much more fluid. I think we were a little bit less aggressive in the press in the final third to probably for the whole game today, but maybe that was a, a purposeful style because we certainly hit on the counter-attack fast. And Anthony Martial was sending Milan Skriniar for hot dogs on about three occasions. Skriniar, who I consider to be an absolute elite level defender, got absolutely floored by Martial. Just all over the pitch today, the football was fluid. And that's something I'm really enjoying about this Solskjaer side. We're seeing Dan James and Rashford switch flanks. We're seeing Martial drop in deep. We're seeing Lingard drop deep. It's unpredictable. The players are moving around, they're shifting, and it makes it hard for any team to defend against an attack that is as fluid and as dynamic as that. And I think you saw that. Inter Milan struggled to contain us. And then, of course, the man who came up with the goal was Mason Greenwood. The hype train, if it's loud and it's fast for wan Bissaka and Dan James, it's probably going to be even faster for Greenwood. Another goal in the preseason, but that goal today, getting on his right foot, turning it back onto his left and firing it into the corner was an accomplished and composed finish from a young player in a tough situation. Great goal. And he nearly got a second went to Heath Chong on the left, skipped past Grinier, I think it was again, and his flick hit the bar. Greenwood, this is his season to shine. With Lukaku leaving for Inter Milan, hopefully, Greenwood's got the opportunity to come through and I don't expect him to come into this team and score 20, 25 goals straight away. But the kid looks like he's got a real, real, just it was a wonderful footballer, clearly. And I think Solskjaer is the manager who can get the most out of him. 
But today against Inter Milan, we've had Perth Glory, we've had Leeds, and we've had Inter. Leeds was the best performance, but in terms of the opposition, Inter far and away the hardest team we've played. And it was tough at times. You know, we had to sit back, we had to soak up a little bit of pressure, but defensively, I think we did quite good. And going forward, we were so much better than Inter Milan. And there's so many reasons to be excited about what we're seeing. Fred came back in. I think he's going to have a sensational season in comparison to his first year. A bit like Lindelof and how much he improved and progressed in that second season. I think Fred's going to do that this year. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen there. But from United's perspective, three games, three wins, zero goals conceded. We're looking very good in this preseason. And as I said, rewind 12 months and remember what it was like under Mourinho. And we went into the season with a bad aura around the club. That's not going to happen this year. The positivity is there. The players that are coming on, the players that are coming in. United are switching it up and it looks good. And I can't wait to see what happens. But wan is the greatest right back to ever play football. Mason Greenwood is better than Ronaldo, the original one. Everything is coming up. Milhouse, I can't wait to see what happens this season. Let me know what you're thinking about the reaction to that Inter Milan game. Tough game, 1-0 win, hell of a finish by Greenwood. Bring on the next one.